Hey guys, Tony here, and I'm really excited to share with you the world's first long throw 4K projector that is certified for and can support Dolby Vision. This is the XJimmy Horizon Ultra, and I've had this one in my setup for about a month now. I've had to keep it super quiet until the launch day, but anyone that has watched my channel will know that I have a borderline obsession with Dolby Vision. So, in this video, I'm going to go over everything, including all of the things I get asked all the time, such as color accuracy, brightness, contrast or black levels, gaming, and also one area I don't usually cover, and that is 3D support. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video as I'll give my verdict, but now would be a great time to give a thumbs up. It only takes a nanosecond, but it really helps me out when you do. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the video. So as my channel is dedicated to home theater, it's an obvious thing for me to look at this projector as a home theater projector. However, it is definitely capable of being used in many different ways, such as a casual space without a screen or a portable gaming or lifestyle display. For the purposes of this video and my regular audience, I will be reviewing this projector in my casual theater room, which has a 100 inch ambient light rejection screen and a 7.2.4 quick speaker system with a Yamaha RXA88 receiver. I mentioned this because I would be using this projector in conjunction with the receiver and speakers. However, there are two 12 watt Harman Kardon speakers built in which actually sound pretty good. XJimmy have designed the Horizon Ultra to be aesthetically pleasing. With an eco-friendly PU leather texture and gold accents, it can easily fit the wife acceptance factor and still deliver on performance. As I unbox the projector, you can see that it has a premium look and feel to it, and they've put a lot of time and care with the packaging to keep the projector safe during shipping. Inside the box, we have a power cable, batteries for the remote, instruction booklet, a massive power brick which is also in the gold color and a nice tactile remote. It's decently weighted at 5.2 kilograms and looking at the inputs at the back, we have a number of inputs to support all of the devices that you may like to connect, as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi options. There is a lens cover at the front which retracts when it's turned on and a mesh at the front in the champagne color which finishes off the look and design of the projector. Lastly, there is a quarter inch thread so the projector can be mounted on a stand or hung from a pole in the ceiling. Before I get into the setup and demos, let's go over the specs of this projector. We have a 4K UHD image resolution of 3840 by 2160 with the light source rated at 2300 ISO lumens or around 2800 ANSI lumens being a dual LED and laser light source rated for 25,000 hours of use. The display is DLP with a 0.47 inch DMD and it does support 3D which I'll discuss later in the video. There is a native support for HDR10, HLG and Dolby Vision, which is what really interests me about this projector. Supporting these modes means that there is no compromise when it comes to viewing movies as they were intended, with high brightness and a wider color gamut. Another very cool thing about this projector is the variable iris for dynamic contrast adjustment, for brightness, as well as the dynamic filter for automatic adjustment of the color gamut to match the screen. Probably the best feature that is not common on a projector of this size is the optical zoom. This means that you can place the projector where you need to in your room and zoom in and out without keystone or digital zoom, which will still have the light shining outside of the screen. If you do need to go in a little closer, the digital zoom is there and is engaged as well with the keystone option. Using a new technology called ISA 3.0, the Horizon Ultra can navigate to a square image by avoiding any obstacles, as well as eye protection and automatic focus and keystone adjustments to fine tune the image. I will always recommend putting the projector at the best angle and distance to avoid keystone adjustments if you have a screen. This option is better suited for a more casual space as I am demonstrating here in my dining room table where you may want to use it without a screen. We also have Android TV OS 11 with Google Play and while Netflix isn't natively supported just yet, they are working with them to get it and there is a workaround in place that I found quite easy to follow. Finally, there is also a gaming mode of 18 milliseconds low latency at 1080p and 4K at 60 hertz. When it comes to installation, there have been two ways that this can be done. 
Firstly on a tripod, which is how I have it done here in my setup, or you could use it upside down on a pole mount. For HDR10 and SDR modes, I found that using the Vivid mode worked really well in terms of color reproduction. However, you could cycle through a number of presets which will give you a look and feel to your taste. Of course, what makes this projector so great is that you can calibrate it with a sensor and do the full RGB and CMY calibration to get it close to as accurate colors as dictated by your room. And this brought an awesome looking image to my screen. As mentioned, the key selling point in my opinion here is that this projector supports Dolby Vision and is the first long throw projector that I know to do this. What that means is if your source or player can do Dolby Vision, then the Horizon Ultra will be able to switch over to Dolby Vision mode and you'll be getting a certified Dolby Vision image. There are only minor controls over the image where you can set your screen size and the screen gain to make sure that the image and the light output is correctly set. And you can also switch between a lighter and darker mode. With HDR and SDR modes, usually you can adjust the gamma and all of the other RGB CMY values. But to ensure that you're getting a correct Dolby image, those options are locked away and controlled by the projector itself. In my demos, I found the image to be very clear, punchy and vibrant. I spent hours running demos of different Dolby Vision content on both my Zidu player and my Apple TV on the Disney Plus app and Netflix and I was really impressed at how cinematic the image was. I think this feature is hands down a game changer and as someone who has been obsessed with Dolby Vision using a HD Fury on my JVC MP5, being able to press the play button, the projector switches over to the Dolby Vision which is really cool and I think that this is something that will get a lot of people interested in buying this projector. One thing that really impressed me about the Horizon Ultra is that unlike other DLP projectors I have reviewed, when you go up close to the screen, there is no screen door effect. This is very surprising to me, but the result is a very sharp image, almost like a native 4K display, which was really impressive. I also didn't notice any rainbow effect, which is common with DLP light engines, so possibly the combination of the LED and the laser has meant that some of that can be mitigated. The dual light engine solved the problem of color speckles and color edges, which really improves the user's viewing experience. Being that you can use the presets, color accuracy is a matter of interpretation. I was able to fine tune the colors during a calibration and found that I was able to get the 65% reading pretty spot on, which is what I usually aim for. The grayscale or color temperature was also able to be fine tuned and I found that I had to tweak the backlight settings to bring it down a little to get it closer to the line. This projector is bright. At 2300 ISO lumens, there is a ton of brightness in the image and you can see that there is no trouble to see the detail in the dark images without it being completely washed out. The image got even better after a correction of the grayscale, but paired with an ALR screen, this could easily be used during daytime. The contrast on this projector wasn't too bad and is usually the first negative that I experience. but with the advanced tone mapping of Dolby Vision, I found that even in the darker movie demos, I was able to see plenty of detail which was Great. There seems to be a good balance of brightness and contrast in the Horizon Ultra, and I'm suitably impressed with how companies like XJimmy are providing an affordable option to people who want to experience content their way. And no, I have not been paid to say that. When it comes to gaming, this is something that I generally don't do, but it does feel quite punchy and accurate when moving around the screen. This is a very acceptable experience if you like to game on a console and one of the bonuses is that you can take it where you like as it's a small enough size and weighted projector. I copped a little bit of heat last time when I reviewed a projector because I didn't review the 3D. So I made sure I asked for a set of 3D glasses so that I could do some tests. What I will say is that it worked. I can see how some people like it, but it's still not for me in terms of enjoying a movie. I will say that it was pretty good and the reproduction was spot on, so I can say that this projector definitely supports it if that's your thing. So as shown, you can go for the brand new flagship model from XJimmy with the Horizon Ultra, which is coming in at a pretty incredible price of 1699 US, which for the build quality, light output, and Dolby Vision plus the optical zoom, if you're in the market for an affordable but powerful projector for your home theater setups, it would be hard to look past the Horizon Ultra. 
picture. If you're on more of a budget, you could also look at the Horizon Pro, which is a 4K LED projector from XJimmy, and they have sent this one in to me to show in the video. I have done a review on this projector already, so take a look at the card up above where you can check that out after this video. It does come in at $1,499 US dollars. Both of these projectors are capable of giving you a great home theater experience with the Horizon Ultra being a little more powerful in both light output and having the Dolby Vision and the optical zoom. It's products like this as to why I love doing home theater videos because I get a chance to see the latest innovations coming through. And the dual laser and LED is such a cool concept as both light engines have pros and cons. So you get the best of both worlds. So guys, check the links in the description if you want to pick up either the Horizon Pro or the Horizon Ultra. I I do have them listed in the description below. Let me know what you think down in the comments section and tell me whether or not you think it's worth buying one of these for your setups. I want to thank XJimmy for sending the Horizon Ultra in for review. I hope to have some more fun playing with it in my setup. This isn't a sponsored video, but XJimmy did send this to me. However, as always, my review is 100% my own opinion. A very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.